<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great pleasure, because George is in town again, <laughs> to present you to George Goble. Right. George Goble. <laughs> Good evening and howdy. Now, I suppose a lot of you folks out there feel that music has changed in the last few years, but actually it hasn't because actually nothing has changed. Now, you take John Lennon posing in the nude on his album. Big deal. That ain't nothing. I did that about 10 or 12 years ago. And that's when everybody found out why I was called Lonesome George. <laughs> so... Tonight, I would like to sing a song, and it's a kind of a traditional song with a country music flavor to it, and it's about a girl and a boy and a heart. And I play the boy, because that's the American way. And uh, Spanky and our gang are going to help me sing it. Come on out here, gang. And it's a kind of a sad song, a song full of heartbreak and loneliness, a tragic song of disappointment. I think you'll enjoy it. How fast are you going to do it? That's about perfect. <laughs> I told you that I loved you, and you said that is good. I called you my darling, and I thought I always would. But now you've gone and left me, and I don't know where you're at. You done stomped on my heart and mashed that sucker flat. <laughs> You done stomped on my heart You broke it all apart Sweetheart, you just sorta Stepped on my aorta <laughs> Stepping out with guys I felt us drift apart And every step you took Was a stomp upon my heart I only hope that someday When you in some lonely room You look down at your shoes But now you've gone and left me And I don't know where you're at You done stomped on my heart And mashed that sucker flat Sucker flat <laughs> I suppose by now you figured out That this old girl was not the best friend a man could have and I knew our love was falling apart there when one night I started smooching with her and she hung out a out-of-order sign on her lips. <laughs> and then one night at the drive-in, she asked me if I wanted to get in the back seat. I didn't know she was going to stay in front. <laughs> One night I come home a little early to pick her up and when I got to the house, my best friend's car was parked on the driveway and when I went in, I could hear a, a cork a-popping and soft music playing on the radio and my best friend was a-laughing my girl was kind of giggling in the background and I looked into the living room and I saw it was in total darkness and I could hear heavy breathing. Well... <laughs> Then I became suspicious. <laughs> See here, I cried. What's going on? Nothing, they panted. <laughs> well, I saw no reason to disbelieve them because they never lied to me before. But then she jumped up. She accused me of being a snoop and a sneak and a snake in the grass. And she said I had no manners. And she bawled me out for busting in unannounced. Well, I thought right there she'd gone a little bit too far. Because after all, it was my house. <laughs> then she told me she'd been carrying on with my best friend for years and years. And she never could see nothing in a clumsy, stupid, silly-looking, idiotic half-wit like me. And then she just quit talking and she wouldn't say any more. Obviously, she was afraid of hurting my feelings. <laughs> so I just pulled myself up to my full height. I looked her right in the navel. <laughs> and I said, You done stopped on my heart. You broke it all apart. Sweetheart, you just sort of 
jumped on my A.O. Started stepping out with guys I felt dust ripped apart And every step you took was a stomp upon my heart And every step you took was a stomp Uh, right on <laughs> my heart. Directly ahead, Vaudeville's alive and well. And you're going to sing the song because we have nothing to put in its place. And you're going to like it or lump it. Well, that was our Christmas show.